Hey there, fellow tech enthusiasts. Welcome to another exciting dive into the world of technology. Today we're diving into the awesome world of Kali Linux, a powerful and versatile operating system. Think of it as the ultimate toolkit for cybersecurity pros and aspiring hackers. It's like having a Swiss army knife, but for digital security. It's packed with tools for ethical hacking, penetration testing, and digital forensics. Whether you're trying to secure a network or uncover hidden data, Kali Linux has got you covered. Now you're probably wondering, Linus, why all the hype about Kali Linux? What makes it stand out in the crowded field of operating systems? Well, it's not just some random operating system. Kali Linux is meticulously crafted for security professionals. It's specifically designed for security testing, making it an indispensable tool for anyone serious about cybersecurity. It's like having a secret weapon against cyber threats. Imagine having a toolkit that can help you identify and fix vulnerabilities before they become a problem. But here's the catch. Kali Linux usually runs from a live USB drive. This means you can carry it around and use it on any computer without installation. That means every time you reboot, your changes disappear. It's like starting with a clean slate every time. Poof! Gone like your data in a bad ransomware attack. This can be both a blessing and a curse depending on your needs. That's where the magic of persistence comes in. Persistence allows you to save your work and settings. It's like giving your Kali Linux USB drive a memory boost. With persistence, you can save your configurations, files, and even installed tools. With persistence, your files, settings, and even installed tools stick around, even after you shut down. This makes Kali Linux not just a powerful tool, but also a convenient one for ongoing projects. So, whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out in the world of cybersecurity, Kali Linux offers a robust platform to hone your skills and protect your digital assets. Dive in, explore, and see how Kali Linux can become an essential part of your cybersecurity toolkit. Happy hacking! So, why is persistence so awesome? Imagine this. You're working on a critical penetration testing project. You've spent hours configuring tools and customizing your Kali Linux setup. Then, disaster strikes. Your computer crashes or you need to work on a different machine. Without persistence, you'd be back to square one. Reinstalling tools, reconfiguring settings, a total nightmare. But with a persistent Kali Linux USB drive, you can simply boot up on any computer and pick up right where you left off. It's like having your entire cybersecurity arsenal at your fingertips anytime, anywhere. Plus, it keeps your Kali Linux setup separate from your main operating system, adding an extra layer of security. All right, ready to get your hands dirty? We're about to dive into the exciting world of Kali Linux, a powerful tool for cybersecurity enthusiasts and professionals alike. First things first, you'll need two essential items, the Kali Linux ISO file and a USB drive. These are your keys to unlocking a world of cybersecurity possibilities. Think of the ISO file as the blueprint for your Kali Linux system. It's the master plan that will guide the installation and setup of your new operating system. You can grab the latest version from the official Kali Linux website. Just head over to kali.org, navigate to the download section and choose the version that suits your needs. Next up, the USB drive. This isn't just any ordinary USB drive, it's going to be your portable, bootable version of Kali Linux. This is where you'll install Kali Linux and make it persistent. Persistence means that any changes you make while using Kali Linux will be saved, even after you reboot. Make sure it's at least 8 gigabytes in size. This ensures you have enough space for the operating system and all the tools you'll be using. Trust me, you'll want the extra space for all those cool cybersecurity tools. Kali Linux comes packed with hundreds of pre-installed tools for penetration testing, security research, computer forensics, and reverse engineering. Now, we need to make that USB drive bootable. This means configuring it so that your computer can start up from the USB drive instead of its usual hard drive. Don't worry, it's easier than it sounds. With the right tools, you'll be up and running in no time. There are tons of free tools available online like Rufus or Etcher. These programs make the process straightforward and user-friendly. Just download one, select the Kali Linux ISO file, choose your USB drive, and hit that Start button. The software will take care of the rest, creating a bootable USB drive that you can use to install Kali Linux on any compatible computer. And there you have it, your very own portable cybersecurity toolkit. 
Okay, time for some partitioning magic. Today we're going to transform your USB drive into a powerful tool for running Kaylee Linux with persistence. This is where we carve out a dedicated space on your USB drive for persistence. Persistence allows you to save your settings, files, and installed programs, making your USB drive a portable and customizable environment. Think of it like creating a separate room in your house for all your Kali Linux goodies. This room will keep everything organized and easily accessible whenever you plug in your USB drive. Most partitioning tools will let you do this graphically, making the process straightforward and user-friendly. You don't need to be a tech wizard to get this done. You'll want to create two partitions, one for the main Kali Linux system and another one for persistence. This separation ensures that your system files and personal data are kept distinct. The main partition will house the Kali Linux operating system, which is the core of your setup. The persistence partition is where all your changes will be saved. This includes any new tools you install, configurations you make, and files you create. The persistence partition is crucial for maintaining your custom environment across different sessions. Without it, all changes would be lost upon reboot. How much space should you allocate for persistence? This is an important consideration. The amount of space you need depends on how much you plan on customizing your Kali Linux setup. I usually recommend at least 4 GB for the persistence partition. This should be sufficient for basic customizations and storing essential files. However, if you have a larger USB drive, feel free to be more generous with the space allocation. More space means more room for tools, files, and configurations. A larger persistence partition can be particularly useful if you plan on using Kali Linux extensively or for more complex tasks. So, go ahead and adjust the partition sizes according to your needs. With the right setup, your USB drive will become a powerful and flexible tool for all your Kali Linux adventures. Section 5. Planting the Seed. Installing Kali Linux with Persistence. With your USB drive prepped and ready, it's time to install Kali Linux. This part is pretty straightforward. Just boot up your computer from the USB drive. You'll see the Kali Linux installer which will guide you through the process. During the installation, you'll come across a crucial step. Partitioning. This is where you tell Kali Linux to use that persistence partition we created earlier. Don't worry, the installer usually detects it automatically. Once the installation is complete, reboot your computer and make sure to boot from the USB drive again. Voila! You now have a persistent Kali Linux setup ready to roll. Section 6 Persistence Pays Off Benefits of a Persistent Kali Linux Setup Congratulations! You've successfully set up Kali Linux with persistence. Now let's bask in the glory of all its benefits. Remember how we talked about saving your changes? Well now you can install new tools, update existing ones and customize your Kali Linux environment to your heart's content and the best part, all your changes will be there waiting for you the next time you boot up your persistent Kali Linux USB drive. It's like having your own portable cybersecurity lab that you can take anywhere. Section 7. Troubleshooting Tips navigating common persistence pitfalls. Now, I'd be lying if I said setting up persistence is always a walk in the park. Sometimes you might run into a few bumps in the road, but fear not, my tech-savvy friend, I've got your back. One common issue is forgetting to choose the Live with Persistence option during boot. Always double-check that you've selected the right option. Another potential hiccup is insufficient space on your persistence partition. If you're installing a lot of tools, make sure you've allocated enough space. And hey, if all else fails, don't hesitate to consult the official Kali Linux documentation or seek help from the awesome Kali Linux community. Section 8. Persistence in Action, Exploring the Possibilities. Now that you've mastered the art of Kali Linux persistence, it's time to unleash its full potential. Explore the vast array of pre-installed cybersecurity tools. From password crackers to network scanners, Kali Linux has got you covered. Practice your ethical hacking skills in a safe environment. Set up virtual machines and test your defenses against simulated cyber attacks. With persistence on your side, the possibilities are limitless. 
Section 9 conclusion, your turn to unleash the power of persistence. So there you have it, a deep dive into the world of Kali Linux USB persistence. We've covered everything from downloading the ISO file to troubleshooting common issues. Now it's your turn to put this knowledge into action. Grab a USB drive, download Kali Linux, and follow the steps we've outlined. Trust me, once you experience the convenience and flexibility of persistence, you'll never go back. Happy hacking!